Skeletons in the closet. That's what I want to talk about today because we all have them and they come up all the time in the clinic. And we've got those skeletons rattling around that if you ever need something to work on in a session, you pull out the, oh, I know I've got an anger issue about this, or there's that thing that I did when I was six and I broke that vase that was my mother's favorite and I feel really badly about it. We've all got the skeletons in the closet. And I used to wonder why we all had so many and why they didn't seem to, to ever go down in number. And then I realized it's because the skeletons in the closet were so much easier to face than the bodies in the backyard. And we may be scared of the skeletons in the closet, but we are terrified of the bodies in the backyard. And the bodies in the backyard are the things that were probably hard at some point and might even have been really hard at some point. And I'm not diminishing that at all. But because we buried them so long ago, they've taken on a life of their own and they seem so much larger than life, so much worse than anything we could ever handle or deal with or have anybody else help us handle or deal with. So we keep them buried. And then I see people in the clinic and in these classes get themselves well resourced enough, find the space inside themselves, courageous enough to reach out outside themselves, and they go and they dig up one of those bodies and it's just never as bad as you think it is. And that doesn't mean it, it isn't hard and that doesn't mean that there wasn't something bad there, but we tend to build it up in our mind to be so much worse. I always like the analogy of, um, it's like somebody thinking there's an actual body buried in their backyard and they finally screw up their courage and they go and they dig it up. And as they find the skeleton, they realize that they've got this fuzzy memory of that night and a bunch of them had gone and broken into the high school late one night and stolen the skeleton from the science lab, which I'm not advocating to do. And then they felt badly about it, so they buried it in the backyard. And that memory had things piled on top of it. And it got worse and worse and worse the further it got buried. When people dig up bodies in the backyard, in the clinic or in classes, there's work to do, sure. But it's never as much or as hard as you think it's going to be because human beings are terrible at secrets. We don't ultimately want them. We want to find some place where we feel safe enough to have somebody help us with them. So that is my wish for you today. That is my hope for you today. That is my intention for you today, is that whether you do it with us, whether you do it with someone else, whether you get yourself well resourced enough to do it in your own mind and with yourself, that you have the space to go dig up one of the bodies in the safest way possible and get yourself some perspective on it and actually get yourself feeling better. I hope that helps. I hope you have an excellent day and evening today and I look forward to seeing you back here soon. Take care.